We're trying to develop this complex trait of being able to survive in cold climates. So we focus mostly on woolly hair and also a gene that's associated with fat, fat metabolism. So there's a lot of information out there about mice. So we could look at the genes that look like they have an important change in mammoths and see if the mouse version of those genes has ever been associated with a mouse that has the phenotype that we're interested in. And so these, all the changes that we made have been observed individually in living healthy mice before. What we did that was different was put them all together in a single mouse. But so what we are working on is to use a lot of ancient DNA, computational analysis, advanced editing tools, and advanced embryology to bring back those lost genes, engineer them into their closest living relatives uh, so that we get uh, functional de-extinction, right? It's not possible to clone an extinct species. Uh, it is possible to do functional de-extinction where we're bringing back those core phenotypes or physical traits and then looking at those traits that we can then rewild back into their natural habitat. They say that they're going to resurrect, de-extinct. Putting mouse mutations back in a mouse isn't resurrecting anything. And even if you could do that to an Asian elephant and make an Asian elephant that had the pretty color hair and sort of luxurious hair, um, that's not resurrecting anything. That's taking, that's taking mouse mutations and putting it into an elephant.